close. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, wherever you're at. Um, this topic, you guys, I'm going to knock these videos out today. This top topic that we're doing right now is, hold on. Okay, the birth process. When we come in as darkness is a portal of life, okay? Now, when we come in, God, divine, Yeshua, Jesus, he breathes life into us, okay? He breathes life into us. That's how we come in, okay? He breathes life. When you're in the mother's womb, right? That's the portal, right? Now, there's darkness. There's darkness in the mother's womb, okay? There's no light in the mother's womb. There's darkness. It's dark. The stomach inside, internally. We're talking about externally and internally, right? So the portal is the actual womb, W-O-M-B, womb of the woman, right? Now, when you actually come out of that portal, out of your mother's womb, what happens? You take your first, what? Breath. Your first breath. Your first breath. And who do you think is breathing that breath into you? It's not your mother. Your mother's just carrying you, okay? She's the portal carrying you around for the nine months, okay? Or however many months. So when you take it, come out is when you take that first breath of air, right? Now that first breath of air, we call it life itself, okay? Now, when we come in the portal, you guys, give me a minute. Come in. We come in and we take that first breath, that first breath of uh, life. I say life, okay, as we know it, okay? Life as we know it. Um, but it's darkness, right? So we come in this world. And we have to learn how to walk. We have to learn how to talk. We have to learn how to eat, right? So we have to learn how to talk. Right? Because we don't know none of these things, right? We have to be taught these things. So we're no longer in the darkness. We are in the light, okay? We're in the light. Breath of what? Life, okay? Because the God source, the divine source, breathes that life into us, okay? When we come out, <gasps> that's life itself, right? So then... We have to be learn. We have to learn how to talk. We have to learn how to walk. We have to learn how to eat. Okay, these are things that are very important for us to do, right? But the thing I want you to understand is the thing that's called eternal life. How I say that the Earth recycle itself, Mother Gaia, Mother Earth. Um, recycle itself. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. That's like the reincarnation process. It comes and goes. Okay. So what happens is we t we talk, we walk, we eat. Right. Then what do we do after we talk, walk, and eat? Right. We're living our life. Right. Our spiritual journey. I'll put spiritual journey because it's a spiritual journey that we're going through. Everything is spiritual. Okay. Everything. Else. Once you understand that. Things are not physical because the physical you can see, right? The spiritual you can't see. But once you understand that the spiritual is the physical, you understand life itself, okay? Should I repeat that again? Once you understand the spiritual, okay, the spiritual aspect of the life, because the physical life 
is what we can see, right? But it's really the spiritual side of life is where you understand life itself. It's not the physical, it's the spiritual, okay? So you come in, you learn how to talk, you learn how to walk, you learn how to eat. So you're taking the spiritual journey of life, right? And you're not even knowing um, that you're taking a spiritual journey of life, right? So say you lived out one life period, okay? You came in, you became a nurse, let's say, a nurse, a doctor, whatever. So you're going through the spiritual journey of life, right? Through the spiritual journey of life, you're in this comfortable state of life, right? You're not learning anything about spirituality. You're just living every day and doing everyday things in your family, with your kids, right? But you still only see the physical side of it. You don't see the spiritual side of it. So what happens? What happens is you live your life. You don't understand the spiritual side. You only understand the physical, right? So the spiritual journey is a journey where you're learning, right? You're absorb you're absorbing and you're learning. But a lot of times people only learn the physical, okay? The the materialistic, what they can only see, right? But the problem is it's not the physical side of life you need to learn. It's the spiritual side of life you need to learn. Okay. So you 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 get old, you get old and gray and you die, right? So then what happens is you go back to the portal. To the another to another womb. Okay? You come back in. Then what happens when you come back in? You breathe that first breath of air, right? That first breath of air is life itself, right? Then what you have to do again, you have to learn how to talk. You have to learn how to walk. You have to learn how to eat. Okay. So this is the second time of reincarnation, right? The second time. Now, the second time, you're touching a little bit on your spirituality, right? You might be reading the scripture or you might just want to know, why am I even here? Okay, that's the second time you're coming in. You're asking yourself, why am I even here? Okay, so your mind, right, your consciousness, but you're still not fully aware, right? So, but you're starting your first spiritual journey after the second time you have reincarnated back in, but you want to know about the spiritual side, but you're not really tapping in the spiritual side. You're just a little bit tapping in. Well, let me read a little bit of scripture. Um, why am I here? You're asking questions. Why? 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 What's my purpose? Why am I even here? Do I even have a purpose? Okay. So you come back in. The first time you was a nurse, you come back in. The second time you're a nurse, right? But what happens is you still only see the physical, right? So then you die again. So then you're reincarnated again for the third time. Okay. So the third time you come in, you breathe what? The the first fresh breath of air in which that is we call life itself. Okay. So then what do you have to do again? You have to learn how to talk. You have to learn how to walk. You have to learn how to eat all over again. Okay. You're still a nurse, okay? But now you're like getting more into your spirituality, okay? You're meditating more. You might be praying more. Um, you're seeing life a little bit different. Um, you're using your conscience, right? So you're looking at the world in a different, with the glasses off. Right? Some people say the glass is on. I say the glass is off. Right? So you're like, wow. I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm learning a lot about spirituality. I'm learning a lot about my purpose. Right? So 
the third time you come in, you realize, wow, I have a purpose. I'm a healer. I'm a nurse. I heal people. Okay. But you, you just touch the surface of the spiritual world. Okay. Um, because you don't even know you're a healer, but you are a healer. You're healing other people. Okay. You could be a root worker. Okay. I'm just using this as a, a, um, a hypothesis. Okay. A, a theory. Okay. So then for the fourth time you come back in the womb, right? Now, what's the first thing that happens? You breathe the first breath of air, right? God puts that first breath of air in you, Yeshua, right? And that's called life itself, okay? So then when you come in for the fourth time, it's different. It is different. You have to learn how to walk, talk, and eat again, right? But once you learn all that, you realize this is different. This is not about the physical this is about the spiritual. So you start learning more about yourself. You start learning about you start learning more about people. Okay. By all these these three life cycles that you already came in, you have some kind of knowledge. Because a lot of times when you come back in, you have no knowledge. Okay. But sometimes when you come back in, you have some kind of knowledge, right? So let's say you come in with some kind of knowledge, right? So this is the fourth time, right? So you you find you 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 understand that you're here to heal people. Okay, that is what you're here to do. Heal people. So you start getting more into your spirituality, where you're meditating, you're praying, um, you're understanding the spiritual side of life more than the physical, what you can actually see. You're looking beyond the actual physical and you're seeing the spiritual side of things right so you go on the spiritual journey right you say you know what i'm going to retire a little bit early and i'm going to really focus on my spiritual journey in life okay my purpose i have did what i was supposed to do i was sent here to heal people i was a healer i was a root worker right so the fourth time you come in you say, you know what? I'm going to stop what I'm doing at this time and I'm going to travel. And I'm going to go to different places, meet different people, and really get into my spirituality, really meditate, really pray, really pray um, for true discernment. Okay. So the fourth time you come in, you're on a higher conscience. Your conscious level is like on a high conscious level, okay? Um, people around you can't even understand you when you speak because where they're at spiritually, you have surpassed that, okay? So you can't even have normal conversations with people because they don't understand you, right? They're like, what's wrong with her or him? They're talking different. They're walking different. They're talking different. They're walking different. They're eating different. Right? Are you guys getting me here? Okay. Woo! Papa. We're talking different. You're walking different. You're eating different. You're acting different. Right? And you go on the spiritual traveling and you just learn about spirituality, learn about life itself, learning about life purpose. So then you get old. You learn about life itself, not in the physical, but on the, on the spiritual. You, you learned, you start talking different. You start walking different. You start eating different. You start acting different, right? So now when you come in the fourth time on this cycle of life, okay, the fourth reincarnation, you don't come back in to the portal, the womb that we know, okay, the womb. You don't come back in. When you pass, what happens to your body, your physical body, okay? A lot of us right now, we're no longer on 5D. We're past the 5D. We're past the seven dimension, 
Okay. We're on the 10th dimension. Okay. Yes, the 10th dimension. Okay. The new earth. The the, the new earth as we know it. Okay. <laughs> this may sound crazy to you guys, but it's not crazy. Okay. Where you don't come back in that portal, that womb of a woman. Okay. What happens is when you cross, right? You go to a whole other dimension. When you go to this dimension, there's calmness, there's clarity, there's so much beauty, there's no hunger, there's no worry, there's no stress, right? But you could not figure this out the three times that you had to come in. You couldn't figure this out. Why? Because you you were distracted, right? You were distracted by physical things, materialistic things, people, places, and things. You were distracted. But the fourth you were distracted. You were fully aware. You were consciously awoke, right? So you don't have to go back. And I'm drawing a circle here, back to the portal, to the womb, to the reincarnation, okay? Why? Because you learn what life itself meant, okay? You learned what life itself meant, okay? That's why you will hear some people say they know for a fact they're not coming back, okay? Um, especially the ones that um, are very spiritual, okay? Because they understand what we call the, the tree of life, the circle of life. They have under, they under completely understood it. So the fourth time, I completely understand this thing we call life itself, right? So I don't have to come back in and talk, walk, eat, or act different. Because on the fourth time, I was already doing it, right? And I was consciously aware of what was going on, okay? So I don't have to come back in. I'm in this place. There's no... This is what happens, okay, for some, okay. Now, what's so interesting is the light, okay, the light. The thing about the light is we all carry a light within us, right? And when I mean light, I mean the Holy Spirit, okay, the Holy Spirit. Um, but a lot of us don't seek it. Okay, when you don't seek, you shall not find. When you seek, ye shall find. That means you will find when you seek it. But if you don't seek this knowledge, you're not going to find this knowledge. What's going to happen is you're going to keep coming back in, keep coming back in, keep coming in. And you're going to be like, you're not going to learn nothing. You're not going to learn nothing. Because why? Everything you've learned has always been physical. You haven't learned those three times before that it's not physical, it's spiritual, okay? Once you learn it's spiritual, right? Then you don't have to come back in, okay? Once you have the Holy Spirit in you, you don't have to come back in, okay? The Holy Spirit is the, the, the God source, the divine source, okay? It's, it's, in, it's always within us. That, But a lot of people don't know how to activate that light source, okay? You have to activate your own light source, right? Just like me, okay? You you and you only can do that, right? But you have to seek it, okay? It's not given, okay? You have to seek, right? And you have to come in with true intentions, okay? I always say this, your intentions have to be pure, right? Why your intentions have to be pure, right? The divine knows your thoughts, your divine knows your heart, okay? So you can't come in with false pretense because he's already gonna, he's already going to know your thoughts. He's already going to know your heart. He's just not going to know that, okay? Other beings are going to know that, okay? So I'm going to end this video. This was a video I just want to like touch on just a little bit. The cycle of life as we know it. Um, we come in with, we come in, I'm going to put we come in as darkness. 
because we come in in its darkness. Okay, it's a portal of life. Okay, but the thing is learning life itself. Okay, when you learn life itself, you 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 will talk different, you will walk different, you will eat different, and you will act different. Okay, and there's people that will understand you, understand you on a conscious collective way is because them 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 themselves is not where you're at consciously. So they won't understand you. Okay. They won't. Um, but there will people, there will be people, some people that will understand you because consciously and collectively, collectively, they are at where you're at. Okay. Um, so this is what happens on the I say the reincarnation cycle of life. Okay. Um a lot of people come back in um for different reasons. It's not just um, because they haven't learned their spiritual side, um, it could be the karma that's attached. Let me tell you guys something. When you die, your life will play out from the time you were born. It will play out in front of you. Every emotion that you have sent out, every emotion you have felt within, externally and internally, you will see that in front of you, your your eyes, your very eyes, and you will you will feel every emotion. I promise you that. Okay, that does happen. You will feel every emotion that you felt. You will see everything that you've been through. Okay, and you will also feel the emotions of the people that you hurt, that you sent attentions out to hurt. Okay, that's called karma. Okay. Um. And some people never, never get off that will of karma. Okay, they just keep coming in, recycling back 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 in. Why? Because they haven't understood. They haven't understood the spiritual side, and they didn't understand the karma that comes with it. And life is karma. What you put out to the universe, you will receive back. Okay, when you hurt others, people, and you don't realize you're doing it, or you realize you do it, because some people realize they're hurting people because they're hurt. Hurt people hurt people. Okay, but it's our reactions how we deal with it. When you learn to control your emotions, I did a video on this before. When you learn to control your emotions on every level, there's nothing that can bother you. Okay, that's a different kind of power, you guys. Different kind of power. Um, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful feeling. Okay. <laughs> Trust me when I say it, it's beautiful. Okay. And another thing is, remember I said your intentions, your, your mind, your heart. See, the thing is, we think that the divine source doesn't know our mind or doesn't know our heart. He knows what we're thinking. He knows if our, our, our intentions are pure. That means the mind and the heart, okay? He knows that, okay? You can't fool him, okay? And there's and there's other beings out here that know that too. They know your intentions and they know your thoughts because they can hear your thoughts and they can hear your intentions. Now, the heart, they can feel it. Remember when I say when you get around people, you feel that, you, feel, you can feel their energy. They may not speak. But telepathically, you know what's going on. Okay. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you guys. I'm going to end this live. We come in with darkness. Okay. Our goal is to be in the light, the light source, light center, the Holy Spirit. Um, that is the goal. Okay. Um, but we come in darkness. And our goal is to get to the to the light. Okay. Um, and by getting to the light is learning. Everything in life is spiritually learning that what we put out, we get back. Okay. And also just not what we put out, what our parents, our grandparents, this is generational. Okay. People out here breaking generational curses every day. I applaud you. I applaud you. Okay. Like I told my kids, my kids, when I go, I can't save you. You know what my father said to me, you guys, before he crossed? I'm telling you, my mom and dad, oh my God, I thank God for them every day. My mom was like, don't ever 
wish revenge on nobody. You are not to seek revenge. You know what she meant by that? God divine seeks revenge. We don't seek revenge. Okay. Even if people hurt us, we don't seek revenge. That's a hard pill to swallow. Okay. But that's what we do. My dad said to hit me, he said, I hope I see you when you cross over. Okay. Because he knows we might not see each other. Okay. Because where he was at spiritually, he didn't have to come back in. So he was trying to, to break generational curses while he was here. All right. And speaking truth into us, speaking existence into us, the truth. Because we need to hear the truth out here. A lot of people are being deceived. Okay. And he said it just like that. I hope I see you when you cross over. And he meant that. Okay. Everything he said, he meant. Okay. So who knows if I'm going to see him when I cross. Okay. Who knows? But I know he's not, he didn't, he didn't come back here. I know he's an angel. Okay. I know he didn't reincarnate back in. I know that for a fact. Okay. So we need to ask ourselves, do we want to come back in to be recycled? Because it's like you're being recycled. Okay. You're being reincarnated. Okay. All right, you guys, this is Jennifer Felix. I'm sending you light and love, light and love and beautiful souls. Bye.